We Brahmins have this amazing fortune of having a direct relationship with God. Think about people who have been searching through the ages, looking for God, wanting to experience God's love. And yes, of course, in Bhakti, God gives some return of their love and their absolute sincere devotion. But yet, of course, having a real relationship with God in which I know that my thoughts connect with him and reach him. And in return, if I keep my intellect subtle and clean and clear, I'll be able to get a response back from him. Is a very, very different experience. And we Brahmins have that fortune. And according to drama, We've had this for many years. From the moment we came to Baba, Baba offered us that opportunity. But now, just imagine, just for a very short time longer, we can carry on having this experience. And it's actually the experience not just of a lifetime. It's the experience that happens once within the whole Kalpa and so amazing fortune. And we've experienced how God is our Father. And in that awareness, we know that the treasures that we receive from God, the property that God gives us, is incredible. It's the property that is imperishable. It is the property that is absolutely immovable. It's divine. 
And so what is that property? It is the property of happiness. I come to Baba, I belong to Baba, Baba belongs to me. As my parent, I can say, you are mine. And in that relationship, Baba also just opens up the whole of his treasure store of happiness and he blesses me with that treasure store. So remember the days of your childhood and the happiness that you experienced then. But sometimes it's become a little bit lost amongst the clouds of us and scars. But now, as I hear Baba Smurli, it emerges within me that amazing treasure store of happiness. And so experience that and keep that happiness so that it's there with you, so that whoever you meet is able to see it reflecting in your eyes, in your face, in your words, in your behavior, and you're able to share that with them also. And then the second relationship we experience with Baba is that of the Supreme Teacher. You know, at school, we used to think that this teacher is so good. And if I was allocated as a student to this teacher, it would be so wonderful. And now, a teacher that was unimaginable could never ever have thought that God could be my personal teacher and tutor. And Baba has opened up the door for us to experience that also. The ocean of knowledge has given so much knowledge. Think about how much you've been able to understand where before there was a fog. There was absolutely no clarity about so many different things. And the most important thing, I understand the past, the present, and the future. And in a way, when I understand the global, the total past, and I know that we were in Satyug together, it brings a lot of joy. And my present, yes, I'm God's child, I'm God's student, I'm God's disciple. Don't like the word follower, but disciple is a nice word. And then of course, I'm God's companion. And of course, I want to have God as my beloved. So in the present, I have the opportunity of all these amazing relationships with God. And in the future, yes, my deity life is beckoning me. It's not so far away anymore. It's just a hop, skip and a jump away, literally. It's not far away at all now. I know for those who've been with Baba for 40 years plus will think, well, we've been hearing this story again and again and again and again. But all those times that we were crying wolf, it wasn't a reality. I mean, at that time, I thought it was a reality. But now I understand. Now the wisdom that God has given me is much more profound and I understand that we weren't ready, time wasn't ready, God's task wasn't ready. But now I think everything is in place. And so for the short time, I look into the future and it's just in front of me. And so I thank God. I thank Baba for having given me that clarity of understanding my past, my original past my present and my future. But also, in terms of day-to-day -day action, here I am in a situation, and how did I get here? What is it that brought me here? Let me look back at my own past story. And it's a situation I'm not finding easy or pleasant, but I see how my own past, my own sanskars and behavior and activity have brought me here today. But I also know 
that Baba has given me the blessings of victory. So at the present, while I'm engaged in this tussle, I want to be able to remember my victory. And that's not far away into the future, that's tomorrow. Maybe it's even by the end of today. But at the present, I have to be responsible. It's not somebody else's fault or responsibility that I'm here. Whatever I have been thinking, speaking and doing has definitely brought me here. And so understanding past, present and future is not just the global cycle, but it's also the karma philosophy. And so I know why I'm here today. I know why these conditions exist at the moment and I'm responsible. But I know that with Baba's help, definitely past can be the past, full stop. And today can be a new chapter, a new beginning. And I mustn't invoke the ghosts of the past. I must stay focused on the present because my present is the most important and that is going to create my future. So Baba explaining past, present and future, the three aspects of time is amazing because I now understand what I have to do today. There's total clarity in that. And that's a little bit connected with the third relationship. And we're just looking at these three very important ones. The Satguru, Srimad. Am I truly following Srimad at every step? And how do I know that I'm not? Because things can be a little bit subtle and I don't always know. I'm not always sure. Well, do I feel multi-million times income? Do I feel my treasure store completely full? Do I feel that, yes, I have attained everything from Baba? And if I feel all of this, the line is clear. I'm on streamer. Otherwise, I have to examine myself. Where is it that my ego of my own awareness comes in? Well, you know, in these circumstances, surely I know better. Well, this is the practical thing that I have to deal with, Baba's up above, and I'm dealing with things now here. And then secondly, Paramat, the influence of others. Who is it that I'm close to? What is it that's influencing me so that I'm moving out of that sphere of what Baba is telling me to do. So Srimad, and there's an accumulation of multi-millions at every step, and there's huge treasures and great joy as I move along. And I feel I'm moving forward and experiencing that angelic stage and the future deity stage is not far away. Om Shanti.